Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see here, I'm making this video because I just completed my chapter 10 of my PC Pro certification. Um, it wasn't, it kind of took longer than I thought it was for how, how long the section was. Um, especially this last one here, it took me a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to be moving on this week to uh, chapter 11 file management. This is kind of a longer one. There's a lot of, or I mean, there's not a lot of like subsections, but there's a lot of stuff in those subsections. So it'll be a li little while. But anyways, um, basically this thing or this chapter, chapter 10 was all about um, like setting up your Windows stuff. So like here you can see like VM, we had to create a VM. Um, here we had an install workstation image and yeah, that's kind of it. Um, we also like upgraded our Windows system. So I'm going to start off with my first lab here. It says install and workstation image using PXE. So we'll go in. Um, so what it wants us to do is turn on the computer in Office 2. We're in Office 2 as you can see up here. We'll turn it on and we need to enter the BIOS. And then it brings us to the screen. What we want to do here is click on system configuration, integrated NIC, and then enable this. Then we just want to click apply and then exit. And then as we load back into the computer, um, we'll bring up this menu. All we want to do is click enter and it'll start the loading up process. Um, when that process is done, that, make, that means we have verified the new image is working on Office 2. And then we have to score lab. So it was pretty easy lab. So as you can see, it loaded up fine. We can score the lab here. Maybe if you got our 100%. So yeah, that was qu uh, quite an easy lab. The next one I'm going to be showing you is um, creating the virtual machine. Um, it's fairly simple. It's just kind of lengthy, as you can see on the side. But what you want to go here, what you want to do here is uh, Hyper V Manager. Um, click its admin. We want a new virtual machine. Um, so we need to name this virtual machine VM1. Um, then we're going to click next. It's uh, generation one. Uh, we need to have 1024 megabytes. And our connection is going to be external. Um, all this stuff is right, and we need to add 50 gigs here. So you click next, nothing here, next again, and then we click finish. And now we have VM1. Uh, as you see here on the side, we need to add a VM2. So we'll go ahead and do that. Same thing, uh, it admin, and then new virtual machine, next. And this one's going to be named VM2. And for this one, we need to click on, um, sorry, no, not this, not here. Um, it's a generation one. And we need to click this part here, use dynamic memory. And this one's gonna be 2048 megabytes. Um, next, we need to click as an internal extension, as it says here. Um, now we just need to confirm what it has here in uh, VM2. We got that, and okay, we have that too. This one's going to be 250 megabytes this time. And so we'll click next there, next, and finished. Now for this one, we need to, then all we need to do is right click here and then settings, and then go to the memory. And on the side here, it wants us to have minimum RAM of 512. And then the max RAM needs to be needs to be forty ninety six. Forty ninety six. We'll just click apply and then OK. Then so that we have everything done, we'll score the lab. And now, as you see, we have our hundred percent. So that's some of the things we did. Um, as on the next slide, you see down here, we did a virtual hard disk. It's basically the same thing. We go through the same thing, Hyper. Um, and then we go and create, instead of a new virtual machine, we click on um, new virtual
virtual hard disk and we'll go and we do the same basically same process just different information for the virtual hard disk so that's all for this one um, i'm going to be starting my chapter 11 next week and making a video on that